Greetings everyone. So what I have for you today is this 2023 Hideout 38 BHDS. I call these park models, but I think they're technically, like if you search most manufacturer sites, they're called destination campers. Um, these are not meant to travel week in and week out. These are meant to be placed on property or what my wife and I see a lot either up here at Walnut Ridge Campground or when we're traveling around is people will buy a seasonal spot and they will park these here. Uh, what you have with these typically is more residential features, like you've got the sliding glass doors there. You usually have bigger space in there, more residential appliances. Uh, now, that being said, this is only 8,320 pounds, so getting it to your destination shouldn't be a problem for a lot of half-ton trucks. This camper, like I said, is 8,320 8, pounds. It's 39 feet 11 inches. It sleeps 10 people. So think about it. If you've got grandkids, if you've got friends that want to come camp all the time, maybe you park this somewhere and your hunting buddies want to come with you. This has got the space for it. It is 50 amp service, so that means you can run two ACs. I can't remember if this one has the second AC in it or not. We'll find out when we get inside. It does have a 15,000 BTU AC and a 30,000 BTU furnace. It does have a heated and enclosed underbelly, but it is not a four seasons camper. It's an extended seasons camping, which means you can start out earlier in the year. You can stay out later in the year. A uh, nice big powered awning on this. I forget the length. I apologize, but as you can see, it's a nice big powered awning. You do have power out here, so if you want to set a TV or something out here, you can. Ice maker, whatever you want, blender. Outside speakers. Uh, I think that's kind of the main things I want to hit out here. Let's go in. And we're going to start at the front, which is actually the bunk room. So as you can see, you actually have four bunks here in the bunk room. The top bunks are rated at 300 pounds. So that's what I'm saying. It's not uh, necessarily just for kids. Adults can stay in here. You've got a nice big closet there for storage. And of course, you have a door to close that off for some privacy. Or if you are out with your buddies and they're snoring really loud, you can close them off. You don't have to listen to it. You have your jackknife sofa. So that's going to pull out to be a bed. That's also four additional sleeping options. There we go. You have your booth dinette. So that will also turn into sleeping options. So you see we've got four in the back. Let's just say one or two here, one there. So four, five, six, seven, and then eight, nine. So I think they're counting on you putting two people on the somewhere, bunking two people up together. So a couple other features here in the living room. If I pan around and sit down, we've got our TV over there that is on a swivel. So you can spin that around to watch. Just below the TV, we've got our stereo that will control those inside and outside speakers. And then in our kitchen, as you see, we've got a lot of countertop prep, prep space. I cannot talk. That is one-piece pressed counter. Uh, it does have um, undermounted ambient light on it, too, which is really sharp. And I guess I could turn on the lights in here just to help. There we go. Kick on some lights in here. Storage down below on that side as well as this side and up above. You've got a 16 cubic foot fridge, which I'll open up when I go over there. A three burner stove with a 17 inch oven. And I also want to call out the central vac system. So you don't have to take a broom, a dustpan, any of that stuff with you. You literally pull out the hose, sweep, you put the hose up, you're done. It's beautiful. It's easy. Fantastic. So we were talking about uh, the refrigerator. I'll show you that real quick before we keep going. So nice big refrigerator. When we talk residential, you have no problem keeping a week, maybe even longer of frozen and fresh food in there. Microwave, if I forgot to mention that, and some additional storage over here, as well as, and I should have mentioned it when I called out the booth dinette, you do have storage underneath each one of the booths. So if you want to keep pillows, blankets, games, whatever you want down there. As we work our way back, we're going to come to the bathroom. So we've got our sit down shower. Big plus for me, it does have that moon roof in it. So you've got plenty of height capabilities in there porcelain toilet which i know a lot of people rave about because you can use any cleaning products you want in there a huge cabinet for storing toiletries 
In addition, you have a medicine cabinet and then storage below your sink. We come back here in the bedroom. Don't mind the screen. That goes on the sliding glass doors, but we leave it back here before it gets delivered. This does not have the second AC in it, but right there is where your second AC unit would go. So you can have some uh, additional AC back here in the bedroom. Ton of storage space back here with drawers and cabinets, as well as some hanging storage option or stacking storage options here. You do have nightstands on both sides of the bed, so you shouldn't have any problem with keeping things charged. And uh, what else was I going to point out? I think that's it. Oh, the second entry door directly from the bedroom back here. You do also have the capability uh, to set a TV up here. You've got TV hookup right here. One thing I didn't mention when I was on the outside is it is a Keystone product. So it does come with the Solar Flex 200, which is how we're operating the lights right now. Basically, it's got, uh, not basically, it has one solar panel on the top and an inverter. It will keep your battery charged. You can run your lights. You can run your slide, basic things like that. What's really nice with that is you can upgrade that easily. Uh, they have a 400, a 600, an 800. It goes all the way up into the 3000s. And basically, once you get up to that rating, you're looking at full-on boondocking. You don't have to be connected to shore power at all. It's great because solar, it's still cost but it's not as costly anymore with that because a lot of the wiring and stuff is done it's easier to add on to it and it's flexible because you can do it before you pick up your camper a year from now two years from now five years from now whatever you want to do uh what else do i want to point out oh it's dragonfly batteries Ooh, i didn't realize that so the dragonfly batteries if you don't know about those they're pretty awesome there you go they're lighter longer lasting more powerful Maintenance free, 10 year warranty, built in heater for cold charging. Hmm. So it does come with the Solar Flex and the Dragonfly batteries, which is cool. So before we end the video, this is one of our units in our 2023 blowout cell. If you don't know about our 2023 blowout cell, I'm doing a horrible, horrible job as the marketing person here. Check out our Facebook page, not Peach. Check out our Facebook page, or it's driving me nuts, it's a little OCD there. Or go to the website and look at the top for a complete listing of all of the units that are on our 2023 blowout sale right now. This one is the Hideout 38. What do they? Oh, they added an extra eight in there. 38 BHDS. Somebody had a little typo there. Retail fifty six thousand sixty five, blowout price thirty four nine nine five. So a massive savings of twenty one thousand seventy dollars. If you're looking at the monthly payment, you're looking at three nineteen. As always, if there's something else you want to see, I missed something. You want to know more about something? You want to tell me how bad of a job I did? Drop a comment down below. I try to respond to everything when I can. Have a fantastic day.